Hello Libra, welcome to your next 48 hours reading. Happy 11-11, make a wish, you can have it. The energy is based off of like hard work, dedication, collaborations, things like that. I do feel like you can make a wish that's going to benefit you and somebody else or other people. Something's not all just about you this time. Something is not just about Libra. So let's see what is coming through for you guys. Within the next 48 hours, only take what resonates and leave what does not. All right? All right. Let's get into the energies. All right, what's coming up for Libra? What is coming up for Libra? Also, remember, Libras, you can go ahead and book your phone call reading, live phone call reading on my website right now, sacredlibra.com. Um, it is the standard personal reading, and they are phone calls. So definitely, if you book whatever time you book for, that will be your phone call time. Definitely book your slots now. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's coming through for... Libra. All right, Libra. So you do have a lot of things that's happening. It does look like you're about to change. Somebody is about to do some type of some something, some rapid change is about to take place. Whether this thing take place in 48 hours. For some of you guys, in 48 hours, you're not going to be feeling the same way. So whatever feeling that you're feeling right now, you're going to be feeling the exact opposite feeling. For some of you guys, you could be missing somebody and then next thing you know, you're not missing them anymore. For some of you guys, for some of you guys it's the opposite. You could not be thinking about a person the next thing you know, you're missing them like crazy. Also, there's this energy where you're learning what to do with some type of poverty. You're learning how to make some type, something that did not work for you, work for you. Um, you're in this energy of kind of mastering your own craft, understanding that you are the master. It's like you go into this, this energy of not having lack, having some type of temporary hardship to stepping into this energy of the magician where you have all your tools, knowing that you have all your tools. There's some type of distinct thing or situation that happens in between the two mindsets all right one mindset is 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 bred in lack mentality the other one is bred in abundance in knowing and confidence the other one is meek not confident at all the magician is the show off the magician has the tools the magician he knows magic and he's going to show it off the magician has everything that he needs the magician is first not last it's like some type of revamp of feelings and i do feel like for some of you guys the reason why both feelings are coming out for you right now because it's going to kind of like be crazy how you're going to be like just yesterday I was just last week I was just so I feel like for some of you guys definitely in this five of this five of um cups energy and this five of pentacles energy I did feel five 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 um and that energy is coming from something unstable becoming stable. So this is like the stabilization of your life will be getting on like um, solid grounds or something like that. Confidence, all those good things that's happening. Okay, so what's going to be the solution to your problem within the next 48 hours? The solution to your problem is going to be for you to kind of get out of your own head. The reason why there's a problem in the first place is because you are in your own way. Get out of your own head. There's a need for you to, to manage your emotions just a little bit better, to kind of get a better grip grip of your emotions instead of going into something, thinking the worst, thinking... For some of you guys, you're only thinking one way. You're thinking negatively. That's the only way you're thinking if the cards were out of your favor. Well, how about if they were in your favor? What if something went exactly the way you wanted it to go? Now, this is a, if you're new here, you know that um, if you're new here, I do these things where I will give you like journal prompts because I'm a journaler. A lot of people, they love journaling and things like that. So feel free if you're new here, you might want to get a notepad, pause, take notes, whatever you want to do. If you've already been here, y'all already know. 
Y'all know the drill, okay? So a great exercise you can do for this is put all of your fears, all of the things that you are fearing right now, and then in some type of script and exercise, write out if things were to go in your favor. If you had, uh, of all the cards were to turn in your favor, if things were to just snap in the snap of a finger and everything would be in your favor, what would those fears, what would those situations, what would those hardships, those obstacles look like? Or better yet, what would those obstacles turn into? Okay, so to get out of your own, to, to, the best solution in the next 48 hours is going to be for you to get out of your own head okay don't self-sabotage yourself from something it is to get these these limiting beliefs out you don't need limiting beliefs okay at all within the next 48 hours okay all right so well, something that's going to have a direct impact on you and your energy is definitely going to be some type of conflict or drama for somebody. Someone's coming up in this energy where I feel like a person has tried or a person has tried to either seclude themselves from some type of drama or stay out of the mix of something. Like you have tried a lot to kind of stay out of the mix. But it looks like something that is going to, to affect you or take effect on you or something that you're going to be thinking about is some type of drama, confusion, argument, or something like that. Yeah, it's given something comes out of the blue. I feel like more, more importantly, not how something happens. You're not going to be over the particulars like, okay, who said what or why is a person mad? You're going to be more so fixated on how did this just come out of the blue? How did I just jump right into some nonsense? Like, how did I just get in? It's going to be like the out of the blueness. Of, of course, this is another five. So for some of you guys, this is also completing the puzzle. This is the number five here, another five here. So I'm, I'm getting the energy of fives. Um, so it's, it's given to, it's given the energy of what's uncertain becomes certain, what's unstable becomes stable. Um, something broken becomes fixed from lack to abundance. So I do feel like for some of you guys, there's some type of argument or some type of confusion or conflict that comes out of the blue that you're surprised as to what does this have to do with me? Like, how did I jump right in? Especially if you're coming from this eight of swords energy where you're kind of like, you're kind of isolating yourself. That's why the solution would be to turn that isolation around and not. For some of you guys, you've been doing a really, really good job of ignoring the drama, keeping the drama out of your life. For some of you guys, you have a really, really drama-free lifestyle. Like, you do not engage in no type of drama-free, no type of drama, no type of nonsense. Like, your your um life has been very, very drama-free. Like, it's real, real vanilla over here in the drama department. You don't have time for it. You don't even give, you don't blow on that shit to give it any type of energy. You're not giving that energy, that fire any type of energy. And you've done a lot of good jobs of doing that. And I do feel like for some of you guys, the reason why you keep yourself... The, the reason why you move the way that you move, whether it could be with a small amount of people, whether it can be with just you, the reason why you're so selective of how you move and who you bring into your life, that's because you are trying to avoid drama at all costs. So you will avoid meeting new people just to avoid drama. You will avoid a situation if something is drama-filled. And the best solution is for you not to avoid it. Even if this thing is coming through drama-filled. Even if something is coming through as a conflict, the message from Spirit within the next 48 hours will be for you to just open up to it instead of run away from it. Even if there is some type of heart conversation, the spirit would be for you to have the heart conversation instead of trying to stay safe and protect yourself. Even if you know that there's somebody who you don't like that's going to be in a certain place where you are supposed to be going in a certain place, instead of saying, well, you know what, I don't want to go anymore, the thing that you would need to do that's going to better better solve all of these problems for you, or at least the ones that I like highlighted in the next 48 hours, you would need to go. Just go. And I do feel like there's a person who definitely... I feel like you can handle yourself better. I do feel like there is something that's coming out of this. Maybe there's a test. Maybe there's 
some type of form to show you how much you've grown, but there's a need for you to trust yourself and put yourself in these environments, even if you think that something is um, happening or some type of drama or confusion or something that you don't necessarily like is happening, all right? Let's see what else is coming out for Libra within the next 48 hours. All right, so significant energy that's coming right to you is a person that's had that could have made their mind up. Um, let's see what's that. Yeah, there's a person who's made their mind up that's coming right to you. This person is kind of giving off of the, the magician type energy. This person could be very, very arrogant or something. It looks like they have taken their time to think about something, but now they finally they finally made their mind up. Okay, so there could be some type of choice, all right. There could be some type of choice. I do feel like that there was a person who could have left you out in the cold, or maybe this has a lot to do with this situation, because this is what's coming out behind it, and this is the exact thing that comes out from lack to abundance. So I do feel like that there's a person who makes their mind up that brings you from lack to abundance. It also brings you from missing a person to not missing someone. So there could be somebody who's coming back in your life from your past, um, somebody who could be validating some, some way that you feel. There could be somebody who could have some type of job opening, somebody who could want to work with you, somebody who can offer you a nice deal. Um, it looks like you could have, if this has something to do with career, which it can, you have the magician, the pinnacle is up there too. So if this has something to do with career, then you've already set out your prices. You've already set something out and the person is, is trying to get back to you. So this is something or... Um, I do feel like a person is, you have your information somewhere where a, per, a person could reach out to you. Um, and somebody just, this person is making up their mind because they've been thinking about it for a while of working with you, of bringing you on or of showing you something or gifting you something, something like that. Whatever this person is, um, working on. All right, let's see what else is coming up for Libra within the next 48 hours okay you got the hermit coming so some very very wise information coming to you could be from somebody older or somebody who you just look up to they could be old they can be your same age they can be younger than you but you have this this type of respect when they kind of talk you shut up and listen that type of respect like you like okay this person is about to say something that i value so let me listen you are a great listener when it comes to this person you're not so eager to kind of talk when this person is around you this is somebody who you can just listen to all day it's almost like they have the key to life but they do it in such a way where you can kind of di digest it where you can kind of understand it where you can it, it goes inside of you this person has the ability to correct you without belittling you for your mistakes they have the ability to make you listen so there's somebody that's 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 coming towards you within the next um 48 hours this person could be an earth sign here. This is coming up as this person being a Virgo. Um, I do also feel like for some of you guys, this person is coming to you in your dreams. Um, it is this big energy of, yeah, somebody is coming. You do have this. Somebody is coming to give you your, your flowers. Maybe this is somebody who's sharing some type of passing the torch to you. The, the hermit does have the, the, the stick. Maybe this person is passing the torch to you to do something. Yeah, you do have the lovers here. So this could be some type of collaboration that's happening. But the, the big message here is there's somebody here with some type of wise information. All right, somebody here that has some type of really really good information all right what else is coming through for libra within the next 48 hours all right so in love you have a person that's really really dedicated that's coming right towards you you do have the ten of pentacles um if a person owes you an apology i could see somebody giving you an apology this king of pentacles is dedicated to do the right thing so there's a person who's kind of like dedicated to do the right thing like they're going to do something right or they're going to do something by the book or they're going to do something that they're told to do something that you were telling somebody to do um something that you were telling someone to do sage get back you cannot have my card 
um, something that you were telling to do, um, you told them to do or you told them would be nice. I do feel like that there's a person that's coming along that's putting you on some type of alignment. Alignment works with the, the king of pentacles. Like, he's not going anywhere. He's, he's not even, he's not even risking the purpose or the path or nothing for no one this is the king of like focus like he's 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 highly driven and re really really focused also he comes out somebody comes out as very very smart also very very grounded too um so there's a person who is um in your love interest that's coming towards you they may take their time a bit because this person could definitely be working if you're wondering why somebody has not contacted you they have been working and then if you have had a relationship with this person where you and this person could have argued or anything they definitely picked up more work to get their mind off of it but it does look like they were not able to get their mind off of something because now they feel like that they have to do the right thing thing um this person also this is was, this was the big one that this person also sees you as a person that is in alignment to where it is that they're trying to go so this person sees you in their path like and this is the path of longevity the king of pentacles is the king of loyalty so somebody is very very loyal coming up to you also you do have the 10 of the 10 of um pentacles here with the seven of uh, wands here it does look like you could have there could have been some type of arguments or something going on here i do feel like this person is definitely going to do what is right or do something it looks like they're all they also have some type of yeah with the queen of pentacles yeah that's they see you as the queen so there's a person this person could definitely owe you an apology that they're, they're coming up to do something right all right let's see what else is coming through for libra within the next 48 hours we got pentacles here we got great pentacles all right so in love and in career like career is coming through in love too because for somebody somebody is doing something that they really really love to do somebody is trying to read so many books it's also what i'm getting there's a person who takes a great amount of time on trying to hone their craft um whatever craft that may be at the moment i do feel like somebody could definitely be a um a jack of all trades and there's a person who can they will read the book okay they will do the research for something and you have done the research for something and you're trying to figure out how to make it in career, business, whatever it is, how to move ahead in your job already, how to, you know, start a business or something like that. The thing about this money thing is that you feel like you don't need your heart. Your heart is not involved here, right? But there is a need for you to follow your heart when it comes to career. There's a need for you to capitalize off of the things that you love doing. There is a market for what it is that you love. Um, I do feel like some, I just heard somebody just found a newfound love in something like they have this newfound love. Um, once you do look at this manifestation, look how it is just attracting to the Empress. And the Empress is all about love, nurturing, fertility, all of that good stuff. So the Empress is all about love. I feel like the pentacle... The pentacle needs this deep, deep feeling. She done did something and got scared. <laughs> the puppy. I feel like the pentacle needs this deep, deep, deep love feeling to attract its, its things to, to attract the things that you want to it. For some of you guys, you're doing all of the muscle work. And I probably would go into this um, because I do feel a strong pull to this message here. And I can only go in so much in the 48-hour reading. But I will continue back to this um, love and career. For some of you guys, there is a need for you. Like, you're doing all the right things. You, you're getting all the right re research. You're going in the right places. But it's just you have not connected your heart 
to the pentacle. You have not connected your heart to what it is that you want to do. You have not brought your heart into it. So now the manifestations and all those things that you're asking for, it has nothing to attract to you have not basically what i'm saying is you have not even made yourself magnetic the most attractive thing of all is love that's the only thing that is real that's the only thing that you can kind of like really really depend on and there's a need for you to do what it is that you love follow your heart when it comes to career for somebody this is going to be like what I don't do career like this. You're right. You don't do career like this, all right? And if somebody also have some time spent with a soulmate, um, there is a big connection that's happening with you and a soulmate, you and a lover. Wow, someone has some deep feelings for you, okay? Somebody is feeling something really, really deep. Like, they can't explain what it is that they're feeling. So they feel very, very deep. Yeah, you do have this wish fulfillment, all right? So yeah, look at that, this... Also, there is a person, I just got this, like, there's a person who kind of, like, don't want to lose what it is that they have, and they have this deep feeling that if they do not open themselves up or create a safe space where there can be unconditional love and there can be um, non-judgment and there can be fun and laughter and things like that and growth... This person definitely needs to hurry up and they feel the need, the urgency to do something like that or the urgency to speak on something. More importantly, it'd be like the urgency to create that type of energy so that their person knows that they're capable of creating that type of energy be, so, so they won't lose you to another person who could have something like that to offer. Um, but I do feel like that you're going to be connecting with your... Um, lover, you do have soulmate energy, so you may. The hearts are definitely open here. Um, I just heard the Chris Brown hearts all over the world tonight. Um, but yeah. Let's see what else is coming through for Libra. One of the best things that you can do over in career is reinvent yourself. Um, a reinvention. Um, right now, there is this energy of lack. There is this energy of not having. There's this energy of, you know, um, temporary hardship. So you're going through something. And the best thing to help that is for you to reinvent yourself, is for you to change, is for you to do something new, for you to add something new. And look, and this brings, wow, I put out the sun too. But this brings this energy of you looking at the past thinking that, oh, wow, I wish or I, I, I should have, could have, would have or you're, you're looking at something like fear of missing out of something. There's a need for you to reinvent, reestablish yourself. All right. Okay. Your control and authority. Yeah, look at your control and authority. Your control and authority to make some shit change, to make something happen, is going to be your strength in the next 48 hours, okay? Um, and especially when it comes to the page of cups. So for some of you guys, you have you get control and authority by using your looks, okay? Some of you guys, this is some feminine energy in the room. For some of you guys, you use your charm. The masculine men in the room, you know how to get what you want by either using your looks, your charm, your innocence. Um this could also be just your curiosity brings you in the room. Somebody really really you have this energy of a master's um a master seducer and you use control power and authority in a subtle way so a person when you first meet somebody they don't know that they're being controlled or they don't know that you're, you have power they don't even know that they don't have the power you make your victims feel like that they hold the power you make your victims feel like that you know they have the leash and you're the dog and they're staring. But really, they are on the leash and you're staring the dog. But somebody is a, is a master seducer. Like somebody has a mastermind. And that is definitely, I feel like you're tapping into that energy. That's that Aries energy. That's going to be your biggest strength within the next 48 hours. All right, let's see. The big challenge that you have is some old stuff coming up, all right? So somebody has some type of cycles, 
cycles ending and this is coming up with a lot of old if a lot of old emotions a lot of old hurts are definitely coming up you do have wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck which is kind of like this kind of happens somebody could be going through some imposter complex somebody could be going through this energy of getting some type of fulfillment but then feeling bad for it guilt shame all of those good things um it does look like as you are growing as you're as you're um doing your self-work you may be asked to dive deep on a on a um time in your life or um you may see something that reminds you of a time in your life when you've been hurt um also, there may be some secrets coming out. You may find out some truths now that actually trigger some hurts within you that you've been currently, that, that you've been cycling. It's cyclic energy. Um, and this could come from some type of hidden truths or secrets that you may tap into now that kind of make you feel a little bad. But this is completion. All right. Okay, we do have the Five of Cups coming right on out with the Five of Pentacles right behind. Um, it does look like the longer that you stay in a certain type of position where you, you keep looking at the past or past mistakes, you'll probably always stay in lack. There's a need for you to change your feelings or there's a change of a win coming in for you right now. There's also some insight from your past too that's going to bring you a lot of confidence, a lot of happiness. So don't be afraid to. So I do feel like that this challenge to go back in the past, this is all this is happening. Whatever is triggering you to go back into a past or some type of psychedelic energy moment where you felt like you either were betrayed, hurt, deeply saddened, or had some painful truth or something like that. This also gives you this insight that you need um, to turn on, to, to revitalize your energy, to turn up your confidence level. Okay, so that is your 48-hour reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.